Okay, I'm starting with a um, hog 20 ounce. Um, this is what we are going to be achieving is we're going to be doing a pencil cup. Um, I've already sanded this one and, um, you know, getting it prepped for putting the the name on there. But um, I just wanted to show you what, what the um, end result is going to be. Now, what I'm going to show you is a quick and easy kind of you can get it done in like one day and then you can epoxy it, um, you know, maybe two coats of epoxy, put the name on and then you're done. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it with double sided tape. We're going to tape it off, paint it, let that dry. Then we're going to do double sided tape, which is a little more um, of a steady, you need a steady hand. Um, you kind of have to be a little bit accurate because once you paint it and you put the sticker on you can't reposition it but if you can do it which i did it on this one um which i, I pretty the only thing i had a little bit of a mishap right here um where the the two tapes met but um it's okay i'm not i'm not too concerned about it uh, but it worked out really well so i'm excited to show you how to achieve this get it done in one day and then you can epoxy in a couple days and it's a cute 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 um gift for a teacher um these are actually going to the two teachers that teach my son at his little montessori school so i'm excited we're going to use mod podge and paint um and uh, get it done so the next steps will be me um I'll, I'll just be fast forwarding through the steps and then I will pause for explanation kind of like the way I normally do. So um, I'm going to be using mostly uh, Glitter Ranch glitters, but I do um, not have the, this one. Um, you could easily for this, you could easily use um, a black, you could use pirate, um, you could even use gunmetal if you wanted to, um, but I really liked the way that this glitter just, it just had that kind of graphite look and I painted it black underneath and I just, I really think it looks like pencil graphics. So if I was going to do this, I might mix platinum and pirate or uh, maybe yeah, uh, platinum and pirate, the just the metallic, no holographic. But um, this one is from the Sugar and Spice Company, and um, it just really has that graphite feel. It's called Mist, okay? Um, and then we've got Vacay for the wood part of the pencil, and then she likes purple, so I'm going to do Purple Rain on this, Purple Rain, and then... This is going to be platinum. We're going to use that for the silver part here. And then this is from, this is actually, I th think you would be able to use Saza, S-A-Z-Z-A-H, I think is how you spell it. Anyways, um, I think they're going to probably be pretty much the same. I just don't actually have, have it. Um, it's more of a summer color and I just wasn't using it um, when I started buying, but this is the, the glitter guy. Um, it's called Pinkle, but if you wanted to buy from the glitter ranch and you wanted to use those colors and get the discount for 15%, definitely Saza would be a perfect eraser color. It's a bright, bright, bright pink. So anyways, that's what I'm going to be using. I've got just black acrylic paint, pink, any, any color pink really, and a purple for the um, pencil part and the silver I'm just gonna use the silver of the cup so what you want to do with this you don't need to sand it or anything just clean it with acetone clean it with alcohol and then try not to touch it anymore and um, we're gonna tape it off um, and paint it and then use the um, double-sided tape so that goes over everything that we need to make this which probably pretty much everything you have in your craft room um, glitter you get the 15% off cups I'm sure you have and you could also use I mean you could do this any shape or size I just 
happen to want it. I just happened to use the 20 ounce. So, um, just cause I had some extras and that's what I wanted to use. And I sell a lot of 30 ounce. So in order for me to give it as a gift, I was just like, I'll just use a 20. But anyways, I love it. It looks so cute. I will show you how I did the pencil part of it. I will show that in design space. So well, let's get started. Okay, so in order not to get oils and stuff like that, um, since I already cleaned this, um, I'm going to put these gloves on. They're kind of like just some gloves that I have because um, uh, the nitrile gloves, I always make sure I don't use those unless I'm dealing with epoxy because they're kind of like gold and you don't want to um, use them too much. So what I'm going to do now is I have these two sizes of double-sided tape. I will link the double-sided tape in the bottom. The little pack that I got is like, um, I think it had, it had eight of them in there. So I'm going to do this for the eraser and this for the silver band. And then we are going to leave this open to do the pencil part. And then we're going to do, um, I'm going to show you in design space how I designed the zigzag here. And then the bottom, we are going to use this for the bottom to make the pencil part of the cup so first off we are going to tape it off so that we can paint and then let those areas dry and then we will go back with the double-sided tape and apply it and glitter it so that is the steps i'm going to take i'm going to be fast forwarding um there is a button at the top of the youtube like at the top over here that you can click and you can you can slow it down you can do it um, in like you can do it faster or you can do it slower. So I'm going to speed it up, but you could slow it down and watch the process. Um, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I will stop after certain points and explain it. But that is the next step we're going to take is tape it off, paint it and put our stickers on. So well, let's do it.
Okay, as you saw, um, I did two coats. Now these are not, they don't have to be, you know, perfect or anything because we're going to be putting tape over it and then glitter over it. So um, what we're going to do now is remove our tape because we don't want the, um, the uh, double-sided tape to get on the um, other tape. So we're just going to remove this. You do want the um, the bottom to be pretty good because that is we're not going to be glittering the bottom, so you want to kind of have that to where it doesn't have any um, open, you know, any marks. There's a little bit here, but I'm just going to fix that before I do everything. I'm just going to film this today so that we can get it done, so I can show you that we can do this all in one day. So it's been, you saw that I kind of used a heat gun. Um, if I include that in there, it depends on how long the video gets, but I did use a heat gun at one point and, um, just kind of just to help it dry a little bit so that we could move on. But, um, it really only takes, I don't know, it's probably been about 20 minutes since I did it. So, you know, I did other things. I've got other things that I'm doing. So we're going to apply this tape on here. And like I said, this is going to be something that you're going to want to be really careful because you can't just peel it up and reposition it. Because once you paint this, this tape will peel that up. So um, this is going to be, you're going to want to kind of get this right. Um, but it, it does, it does work. I've done, I, I did it here and it worked beautifully. You just have to be really careful. That's all. But I'm going to film that. I'm going to fast forward doing that. Um, I did leave... A little bit of when I marked it I kind of moved the tape down just a tad bit so I could have just kind of an open edge so that I could do my sanding on the rim there so I just kind of made it where it was a down just a little bit so you want to put the tape closer to this edge if you did leave just a little bit so that just so that we could get a big enough of the pink and not have to sand some of it off. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to tape here, tape here, and then we're going to tape this thinner one here and we're going to do the silver. So I'm going to do that in fast motion. Then we'll do the glitter. Um, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, I got this a little wrinkly, but it's okay. Glitter will cover those up. So, um, I had a little piece that, that kind of, when I cut it, it kind of peeled. So, I just kind of cut a little piece and just put it on there. Well, since I've already got this piece kind of open, we're going to just go ahead with this glitter and uh, do the graphite pencil part of it. So... I'm going to peel that up. And like I said, this doesn't matter. The, the glitter is going to cover that up. And then once you epoxy it a couple times, it, it won't matter. So, um, very simple. Just sprinkle it on. And then you're just going to want to press it in to the tape. You just really want to 
make sure that it's stuck on there that um that you get all the little crevices and then once you've done that you're just gonna run over it again just one more little coat okay all right and then anything that's right here just take a little brush and just brush it off I think if you're gonna do a black I might take a little bit of a black and just add just a little bit of silver to it because I really think that that silver look really makes that graphite kind of gives it that graphite feel so if you're using pirate metallic I would definitely add some of the platinum maybe not as much but just a little bit just kind of balance it out and then you can keep it you can put it in like in these little things and then just kind of keep keep them you know for when you do another one which because once you uh <coughs> excuse me once you post it there's going to be teachers or there's going to be people that want to get their teacher a um, special gift so it'll be popular but see how easy that is and you don't have to mess with glue you don't have to wait for glue to dry or nothing it is done it's stuck and it's done and then I just I will touch up the bottom make sure that that's um, just black all the way around because that will show through so that's that I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll go to the next one okay. and then this spot I kind of cut it a little too soon so we're just gonna I'm just gonna take a little piece tiny little piece no harm no foul if you have to you can stick some Mod Podge in there and and be done no big deal no harm no foul just trying to get that pink out of there just put that down okay now I'm gonna peel this up where the pink is these pen pen tools this one has I need to get a new one uh, but this is the best to peel these up because you need like a little thin tiny tiny little pen because you start doing it with your nail or the um, exacto knife it kind of starts stabbing it so I mean it's you can use anything but uh, those little pen pen tools work so cool okay so I am like I said this is from the glitter guy this is pinkle but I would definitely be able you would be able to use Saza for this and it would it's gonna it would be exactly the same not exactly the same but I think it will work for what you need it to be for yeah, it's definitely an eraser pink bright 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 pink and that's what I will link down at the bottom so if you want to recreate this that's what I would do okay All right, now this one, I'm just going to press it in there. It's okay, you can get, you don't have to be soft or gentle because the tape is going to, it is going to lock hold on that glitter, so you are fine. So, just press it in and then do it again. Just so you don't miss anything. Oops. Need a bigger sheet. And that's that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to clean this off. And then we will go to the silver part. And then we'll go to the next steps. Okay? Okay. So now... We go to the next for silver. I'm just going to peel this up first. Okay, we'll peel that off and then 
I don't know. Let's see. I gotta push this down a little bit. Only a little bit of this tape was on there. Okay, let's try it again. Just be careful when you're cutting them. Then you don't have to deal with this. But it's easy. Easy fix. I mean, I think so. <laughs> it looks pretty easy to fix. Okay, now we can cut this. Peel that up. Okay. Now, there we go. Okay. See, like nothing ever happened, right? Okay. Now, we are going to use platinum. And like I said, we didn't paint this because we didn't need to, because it's just going to have a silver base. So, if we were going to paint it, it would be silver or white, but I think this is fine. So, it makes for a nice little band, silver band. So, we're just going to make sure we press it in there. It's such a pretty color. That platinum and then once you do that it kind of see how it flattens out and makes it a little more that sparkle really comes through okay I think we got went all the way around there one more time okay And just clean this off and then the next step will be design space and I'll show you how I did the the cuts the triangles for the wood part so there you go starting to look like a pencil okay this is a new project. I actually have already done one of these, but I'm going to show you what I did and how I did it so you can rec recreate as well. Now, I've made this nine and a half inches by two inches. That is for the cup that I am making. That is a 20 ounce. When you make, if you make a 30 ounce or you do a skinny or something like that, you definitely want to use, um, get you a tape measure, 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 Go to um, Walmart, go into the sewing section and get one of those soft, um, you know, fabric ones that you can wrap around the cup. Always have one of those because uh, they come in handy so much when you need to, feet, to to measure the around the entire cup. So we're at a nine and a half inches and we're at two inches wide. Now that is the, as big as I thought that the um, cuts needed to be. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to bring in a triangle. Now, this is where you're going to have fun. You can make them more skinny or fatter or, you know, whatever. And don't worry about this right here because all we're doing right now is designing. Then we will make it the right size when we get um, to that point. Okay, so we're going to duplicate it. And I made it um, where it was... You know different sizes different lengths and things like that because you know when you sh when you sharpen a pencil the pencil is kind of always a little bit um you know it's not perfect so it just kind of adds a little bit of character so we're just layering these uh, triangles on top okay and you can make um you know like I said, you can make them bigger or smaller. You can make it a little bit, uh, come on, design space. Okay. You can make them a little bit thinner and taller. You know, um, just play with it. Have fun. Play with 
play with it and have fun. So that is pretty much um, what you do there. And then we're going to sweep over this like this. And we are going to weld it together right here at the bottom. We're going to weld it. And that's going to give you those not all the way down kind of cuts. And then we're going to come up here to, and we're going to unlock it. We're going to do nine and a half by two. And there you go. It's as simple as that. And you can just save this. I have this as my pencil cup. And I just come in here and print them off. Uh, I mean, you know, cut it out whenever I get ready. And I do use removable vinyl. Um, it just is like so easy to work with. So I would cut this with removable vinyl, which you use just the same when you go to make it. You just use vinyl. You just use vinyl right here. And leave it as default. If you think it needs to be cut again, all you have to do is press that Cricut button one more time. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, so that is the Cricut portion. We will go back to cutting this and applying it and keep on glittering. Okay, I got this cut. This is uh, removable vinyl. It's very easy to work with, easy to peel off, easy to, to, to put on. So, um, you're going to want it to go like this, right? So you're just going to want to line it up with this edge right here. So that's what we're going to do right now. And you just want to be careful, not that this is wet, but you just, I mean, you know, you just don't want to be too, uh, willy nilly with it, you know? So that's the good thing about removable vinyl is because it's easy to peel, easy to apply. You, if you get it off, if you're offset a little bit, it's easy to just peel it back up. No big deal. Now you don't have to worry about um, bubbles or anything like that. This isn't going to stay. We're just going to peel it back up. So. Um, but you do just want to make sure that it's, you know, pretty much on the edge. You don't want it to be too off kilter, but, but like I said, this is just a template for you to be able to to do your pencil part. Now, this is the fun part. When I asked the teachers at the school, I asked the front desk lady, I said, could you tell me the teacher's favorite colors? And the one teacher said she liked blue and pink. So I figured I would do this blue and this pink. And But the other one said that she loves purple. So we are going to do this fun, fun purple rain and we're going to fill in a little bit with this and then vacay for this part and then you're done and then all you got to do is spray seal it i would spray seal it several times and then epoxy but we will um go ahead do this part and then i'll come back and do this part and show you how to do that one so one little thing, um, um, I bought these at Walmart. They're just the um, mini cups with lids. I have the bigger ones too for if I'm doing something larger or for glitter that comes in a bag or something like that or if I make my own mix or something. Uh, but these come in handy. I just kind of keep them up, up above my workspace here. But this I'm going to take Mod Podge and mix it in with the purple paint. And then once you put this lid on, I mean it's not going to last a lifetime, but It'll, I mean, I've had several of them for probably a couple months or more, and um, all you gotta do is just kind of mix it up when you get back in there, add a little more glue if you need, a little more paint or whatever, and um, I just keep them and keep it in a little, a little deal here, and then I just pull them out when I need them, so um, that way it's not a total waste, so uh, just a little tip, but we will continue.
Okay, now we've mixed our glue and our paint. And we are just going to, this will be the area that you're going to want to be a little bit careful here. Just going to want to push that up to the edge there. Don't get crazy. Just be careful. I just kind of let the paintbrush do the work and just kind of push it up there. Just push it up to the edge. You just want to be careful. Don't get too much paint for that edge part. You just want to you don't want to have like a big glob coming down. So Now the paint in the glue makes it dry a little bit slower. So a little bit of heat if you need to is um helpful okay but it's also an advantage because it gives you more work time okay and we're not looking for like complete coverage okay you want to make sure there's not like bubble you don't want bubbles on the um, edge because you don't want them coming out when you um, you don't want the paint going underneath the vinyl so just you don't have to be careful, but just be careful if that makes sense. Just don't just jab it in there because um, then it could go underneath and you're going to have to clean that up. So just be careful, but it's no big deal. You can clean it up. Just take a little acetone Q-tip, clean it up. No big deal. So this is... Like I said, we're not um, doing full coverage on this. We're not trying to, we're just making a base for us to put our glitter on. So if we do have little holes in our glitter, that it will not show the silver. But that's all we're doing. We're just doing, we're just putting that, um, just given some coverage for the silver and using purple chunk of something in there okay so that's it just take a look around don't waste too long because it's Mod Podge and it will start to um, dry on you the paint like I said does help it um, stay wet longer but that's that next is glitter Okay, and this is where you're going to have to spend just a tiny bit of time here and, um, and just kind of move any of these big chunks. If you're using chunk, if you're using a, uh, a chunky glitter or a bigger glitter, you just, just want to move it just ever so slightly down because we're not going to do um, any lines or anything like that. We're just going to kind of, we're just going to keep it where it is we're going to keep it how it is so you just want to move those pieces down just a little bit just off the line that's the only disadvantage of using the chunky but it looks so cool so we're just just moving it down a little bit. No harm, no foul. But you're gonna want to you're gonna want to let this dry um, really good before you start patting to get the glitter off because um, the paint it will it will stick to you. So like I have 
pieces that um oh i'm just gonna get there's a little bit of purple here but i just want to get off these little brushes i got at um the dollar tree they're perfect for stuff like this so that's why i was just taking a look around because i just want to leave that line i'm not going to do we're not going to do anything extra to this. We're just going to keep it just like this. And we're going to put the name on there. So you just have to move the purple down. Move that chunky down just a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm going to clean this up. Then we're going to peel this off. And we are going to do the vacay. And then you're done. If you want to, you can use... I would just be real careful on the edge right here. If you're going to do a little bit of the, the filling in, if you need to, if you feel like you need to, just because it will, it will land in this, this silver and you may or may not be able to kind of get it out, but I'm just going to try to do just, I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit in spots when I clean this up, um, just to kind of make sure we're completely covered. But either way. Um, I love the unconventionalness of, like, you can personalize it. Because there's all kinds of pencils. You don't have to do yellow. If you want it traditional yellow, go right on ahead. Um, but I like I like kind of personalizing it with the color. So, I think it looks cool. And that purple rain, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, next step. So, here's a little trick for you. When you pour your chunky into your fine... And uh, you want to have your fine back. Uh, this is how you would do that. <laughs> so I. Um, yeah I picked up the holographic fine. And I poured all the chunky. Uh, back in there. So I'm taking this little strainer. I got at uh, Dollar Tree. And I this is a thing. That you use for your washing machine. Which um, I have a drawer. That just. Uh, I just pour it straight from the thing in there so I keep these for my craft room so yeah I'm just uh, sifting the fine out of there there are those little um, those little pieces but I'm willing to deal with that more than the fact that I just lost my complete bottle of um, of fine so we're gonna sift through this <laughs> Just a little trick of the trade, just in case you have a little brain fart moment. So I'll continue with this and then we'll come back and actually do the cut. Okay, so I'm going to remove this very carefully um i've got to find the line and whatnot but i'm not going to remove it on top of this because i don't want to get all that glitter on here um, i'm just going to do it over the trash can i'm going to peel that up really carefully because this is definitely still dry uh i mean still wet <laughs> still wet and then um we will do the vacay and then we'll be done all right Okay, I forgot to mention that when you do peel it up because of that chunky, you might have a few little pieces here um, that that might come up. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna add a little bit here, um, just along the edges. I just got a really thin um, brush here. I'm just kind of dabbing in those spots that came up. And we're just going to pour a little bit. That one was like really bad. I don't know what happened there. But just dab a little bit of that on there. We're just going to use the fine. No big deal. Like I said, if you have, this definitely can be done in one day. I am trying to get it done in an hour or more. Uh, well, probably maybe like two hours because I'm trying to film it all in one day. But you definitely can, um, you know, wait longer or maybe the next day you can do it. But you can 
do it all in one day. I am literally doing this in one day. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the fine that I have left. Oops. Do it this way. Just going to do a little bit of the fine. Just, I'm not trying to pour it because I don't want to, I don't want to have too much straight all over the place that I got to clean up. So I'm just doing ever so slightly in those little spots. And that's that. Oops. Okay. Now we'll take our little. Okay, and we're going to probably want to get um, we're going to want to get a much thinner brush to get that off and I will continue that off screen. But like I said, you could definitely do this in one day or if you wanted to let things dry a little bit and do stuff the next day or maybe even later in the day. But I am getting this done. I think it's been maybe two hours, but I did have some other stuff to do. So it can be done. That's why I was showing you this technique. <laughs> Anyways, we'll go to the next step. Okay. I have this mix that I made that is, it has like a kind of a rose gold and then um, the Mod Podge as well. So I figured this is what I made the last time when I made the other pencil. So I'm just mixing it back up, just kind of giving it a stir. And Now, we will very carefully edge it into the sides here. You just want to just be careful. You just want to, you know, take your time. You don't want to rush. Ah! You don't want to lose your, <laughs> your brush. I'm telling you, ever since I... Uh, mixed my chunky and my fine I'm just I'm kind of out of it my brain is like you've done enough today so I won't bore you with this whole thing I'm just gonna kind of show you one little piece here this is gonna be probably the most tedious part because you gotta be real careful that you're not just I mean you don't have to be like super crazy careful but I also do these one at a time because I don't want to get going and then all of a sudden I am dried on one side and not the other so I kind of do each little triangle at a time so I'll show you so then I just do like that and tap it off and ta-da and you have a cute, cute, cute pencil. Once this dries, I'm going to continue this. I'm going to fast forward, but once it dries, like fully dries, I would, I would probably let it dry for at least a good two hours or more. Then I would take a, a chip brush or something like this and just really kind of rake it and make sure that you're getting each um, and every little piece of glitter off of there. And then you spray it, seal it, probably I would say two to three times, spray seal it. And then you can epoxy. So uh, genuinely, you can get most of the work done in one day. So, but I would give it um, some time to 
dry completely so you can get some of those stray glitters off so when you do seal it it seals good and then when you're epoxying it you're not dragging any other glitter into another section so i'm going to continue this and fast forward and then we will come back and i will show you what we do next Okay, this is dry except for the bottom where I kind of touched up, where I messed it up a little bit. But um, everything else is dry and ready to go. I'm going to wait for this to dry just a little bit. May hit it with the heat gun. And then I am going to spray this like three times probably. I'm going to spray it once with, um, and then like five minutes later, I'll spray it again, 10 minutes, whatever, and then spray it again, and then spray it again. Because uh, I don't want anything moving into any, um, this would probably be a little more forgiving in this area, but if you get something up in here, up in here, you're definitely going to see it, and in the uh, the wood part. So, but that is, that is it. One day, did this, no epoxy, everything was um, the, uh, the, the tape, the double-sided tape gives you such a perfect line um, and you don't have to worry about it drying. It's on there. It's good to go. Um, it's super easy. You're done. This could be something if you need a gift really quick, you, maybe you could have it done, you know, in a couple of days with the epoxy. I'm going to put two coats of epoxy on this. Then I'm going to sand it down, put the name on there, and then one final coat. Um, hopefully so maybe in a couple of days because you could do a flood coat in between the two coats if you wanted to um, I'm not a big fan of flood coats but I, I know that people have have used them but that's it that's it I will show clips of um, what it looks like when it's done I'll probably show both of these together but that's how you make a really quick and easy pencil cup thanks for watching